I want to date Generation Z women. Then you're definitely not going to want to miss today's recipe. Uh, by feeding them or giving them a drink, you're always going to make them hornier. Every spring, Autumn Silver Fox knows two things. It's important to feed your bays. That's thing one. Thing two, how to cook amazing lamb chops. The Bible mentions this 25 times. And today... Chef Tango and I are going to be showing you silver foxes out there how to raise lamb chops to the gold shoes standard. I would not recommend any of these things. I would recommend if you're Generation X and you want to hit on Generation Z, you spend the extra money and go for the grass-fed. Grass-fed lamb has stronger telomerase. It's a proven fact. If you're serious about fighting your Zuber Bay, you're making 200 bucks a day. This is really a small price to pay. Indeed. And now that Lucas is off the shitta, it's time to get started. At least I'll get a moment these lamb chops. And I made a sauce out of ketchup and mayonnaise, which is probably going to work out pretty well like that sriracha may have been, so we'll try that. Anyone with an ounce of class consciousness realizes that fry sauce and lamb are an age-phobic and misogynist combination. All you gotta do is prove me otherwise, Gen Z. Now to get started on the marinade. Am I not entitled to two tablespoons of avocado oil? Apparently I am. Am I not entitled to one tablespoon of red wine vinegar from the age gap bar? Apparently I am. Am I not entitled to one teaspoon of dry rosemary? Half a teaspoon of powdered oregano? Garlic powder? Salt? And freshly cracked black pepper? Apparently I am. Clap for my marinade after giving it a quick meeple toss. And for some milk. Isn't that fucking sweet? Ouch. Another blow to Lorne. Oh, rested for no reason than my personal amusement. Next, grab one pound of the lamb chops. Put them in a container and add the marinade in a fundamentalist fashion. Afterwards, let it chill in the fridge for one to five hours. But this time, in a cavalier fashion. Oh, I'm thinking about going to the mall and getting some ice cream. Would you like to go get some ice cream with me? Oh, no thank you, Lucas. I think you've had enough dairy for today. <laughs> Why am I wearing shades? My Ninja Foodie 5 and 1 is my superpower. And we're going to begin by setting it to roast at 400 degrees. Yeet a bay! That's what we're getting ready to do, Lucas. Now pay attention to the next step. We're going to enhance the labors of lamb and love with some asparagus. We begin with a splash of avocado oil. Avocado oil, so avocado, avocado. Next, checkmate Zoomer males by adding a sprinkle of Himalayan pink salt and freshly cracked black pepper. Here's a close-up so you can get a better look at it. I guess I'll just wait around for the ninth year in a row. Lucas, stop exaggerating. This is only going to take 10 minutes to cook and you know it. I used to want to raise both things of reproduction, so really the Gen Z dudes are not entitled to the Gen Z women. What am I entitled to? Like it's a question. After five minutes, Go ahead and flip your lamb chops over. This is also a good time to take the asparagus out. But I prefer mine to taste like nine pounds of burned popcorn. Nine pounds of popcorn? It looks like our lamb is just about done. Now it's time for the best part. Even 
asparagus is a little bit on the crispy side. The lamb is perfectly cooked. If this doesn't sweeten up the women of Generation Z, nothing will. I am going to have to take a major juice after this. On that note, I would like to give a huge shout out to the Gold Shoe Army. I appreciate your patience. And remember, don't forget to delete your archives. Bye, sweetheart.